Sports on RTV6. There were times where you could walk outside and you could smell the, the air of where the, it was cooking. A neighborhood once plagued with drugs and burglaries is working together to change. A big part of that effort is the Drexel Gardens Crime Watch, a group started by neighbors who saw a good area quickly deteriorate and are trying to get it back to a safe place. It's part of Our Streets, Our Stories, our RTV6 effort to show you what's working to fight crime in neighborhoods. The now Andy's Candace Aviles shares their story. The neighborhood at one time was clean and nice. Ramona Ward has lived in Drexel Gardens for years. Then when the tax increase started about six, seven years ago and the property values went down, a lot of the older people had to move out. And more renters moved in. Yep, that one does that. Along with a handful of people that was in trouble all the time, native people with the robberies and the burglaries and minor drug usage. But property crimes and minor drug usage may play into a bigger problem. IMPD Detective David Spurgeon says the increase in property crimes is due to opiate abuse. Try and explain to them how the opiate prescription drugs is translated into heroin use and to make them understand that, uh, you know, our property crimes is directly attributed to, to this because they're doing this to finance their addiction. Spurgeon says people hooked on opiates fear withdrawals, prompting them to steal anything they can to pay for more drugs, something Sheila Cooper saw firsthand. My nephew and his wife, they had gotten into meth and uh, pretty early on age, everyone was even a f skeptical to let them come into their home because they would afraid they would steal from them to get money for their drugs, which they did do that. With addicting drugs prompting a majority of the crime, a few neighbors got together creating the Crime Watch where they can look out for everyone's safety. People are starting, to, they're not as afraid now to speak up as they were for retaliation. Uh, the Crime Watch has made such a difference with bringing the neighbors together. They meet once a month at the Drexel Gardens Christian Church to keep in touch, share events, and listen to speakers, including Detective Spurgeon. It will still take more involvement to get the neighborhood back on track, but it's a start. I would say hopefully, praying to God, that within the next four or five years, we will be back to a clean, healthy neighborhood. That was Candace Aviles reporting. The next Drexel Gardens Neighborhood Crime Watch meeting is November 17th at the Drexel Gardens Christian Church. Anyone is welcome to come.